Okay, so what we've got here, we've got a Dell thin client device. Um, this is a Core i5 6th gen CPU with 8 gig of memory and 250 gig hard disk. On the front, we've got the power button. We've got a headset input. We've got line out. We've got a USB type C, USB type three connectors. And on the back, we've got four USB type three or USB 3 connectors. We've got our one gig ethernet interface. We've got an HDMI port here, and then we've got a display port here. So it's got plenty of options for connectivity. Over the left-hand side here is the, um, the power input. Uh, comes with an external power supply. It also comes with a new Windows 10 Pro license key for refurbished PC. So we paid um, £240 for this device, um, which I think was uh, a snip for the size. This is going to be hidden away uh, on a customer site and it's going to be used for running a, an application and access to it will be via remote desktop. That's all they want. So inside here we've got the 250 gig um, SSD drive. So this is this is a SanDisk. Uh, we don't know what the life of this is, so we're actually going to be changing that um, for a WD Western Digital Blue 250 gig drive. This unit here is the complete fan unit that sits on top of the CPU heatsink. So we can remove this carefully, and inside here you can see the heatsink. We've got our eight gig memory stick. Uh, there is another slot, so this device will happily run. Um, you can put 16 gig in it if you've got another eight gig chip. And then on the front of this unit here, we've got the speaker. So the speaker for the device sound, um, we're not gonna actually be using that. It's gonna be sat in a cupboard running a bespoke application. So let's pop that back on. That's all there is to it. Let's go ahead and run through the installation of Windows 10 Pro using this product key and see if the device actually works. Let's see if we get any output from the device. Excellent, so we've got post, that's good news. So far so good. So we'll run through the install of um, a device with a refurbished Microsoft key. In case you come across this yourselves at some point. It's not standard stuff. Okay, there we go. So it's flipped into Windows. So uh, let's have a little look, see. So we want to select United Kingdom. And we want United Kingdom. And we don't need a second keyboard layout. Okay, so we're gonna select, I don't have internet at the moment, so we can create a local account. I'm gonna continue with limited setup. As you probably gathered, I haven't got a mouse at the moment on this. So we'll accept the, uh, the license. And we're gonna call this uh, call this admin for now. And we're not gonna set a password at the moment. And we're gonna say no, 
because we don't want to do device that across and we don't want the assistant decline that okay and we don't want to use speech recognition tailored stuff and we don't want to find my device oops keep skipping past it and we want to send basic only and we don't want to do any of that and we do want tailored experiences and we let apps use our advertising ID and that's it for that so this is just a standard Windows install um, we will do the configuration once we've got things running after the initial setup but we're not going to go through that today um, all I wanted to do was just to make sure show you guys um, what we need to do to get it running we're going to have to change the license key so as part of the standard the build that's on all of these uh, refurbished PCs you have to do the initial setup and configuration then you've got to go through and change the product key for the product key that's been assigned um, stuck to the unit itself now the license key on the unit has got a little scrape off patch on the first four um, characters so you need to remove that so you can see the whole of the license key and then you can input that so um, once we're logged in we're going to go through and we'll change the license key for the one that's on the bottom of the device that way it keeps Microsoft happy Nearly done. That's good. Okay, we're in. So, uh, first thing we want to do is we want to go in and change the license key. Okay. So the product key is has been provided to you. Okay, so the next thing that you want to do is you want to activate Windows. So we're going to need to get a network connection to do this. But um, we will do that. We'll do that later. So once you connect to the internet, uh, you'll then be able to uh, activate Windows. But in terms of this video, getting everything set up, that's... Once Windows is loaded, that's how you go through. You have to change your product key. Um, that will then activate, and then you'll be able to um, complete the, the setup because you're not gonna be able to complete some of the setup without having it activated, such as personalization. All right, so if you found the video useful, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I uh, just wanna say thanks for your continued support, and thanks for watching.